The topic for today are transforms and matrices. Okay, it's 25 past one. Welcome back. All right, so let's uh, go ahead composing transformations. Um, composing transformations is a single mathematical method that uh, created the 3D graphics technology. Uh, this may look uh, awful, very mathematical. And transformation T of the point P is um, uh, shown here. Okay, so this is how we can uh, understand this. All right. So I'm introducing some mathematical notation uh, now, which uh, sometimes may be may be useful. So transformation T of the point P. We take the point P, transform it by this transformation. And this can be represented mathematically as the point multiplied by, no, actually this is the matrix multiplied by this point. MT, MT, that's uh, the trans, uh, sorry, the transformation matrix of the transformation T. Okay, so uh, that's um, uh, T bracket P is uh, the same thing that we previously called it P dash. Uh, but in this notation, this is just a mathematical notation. Okay, there's no big uh, philosophy behind it. Uh, P dash doesn't tell us uh, which transformation was applied. Okay, and uh, TP says it's a transformation T of the point P, and this here is transformation S of the point P. So we will apply a different matrix MS on the same point. And now, what is the combination of S and T? combination of S and T for which we have a special uh, mathematical symbol which we won't use too much. OK, it's just informative. You can um, if you would need to forget one slide from this presentation, this could probably be this slide. But uh, because I am a mathematician, I have to uh, get through uh, some formalities. All right, but it will become more interesting in a moment. I uh, definitely it will. Um, all right, so combination of S and T is uh, S circle T. Uh, that's that's the mathematical symbol. Uh, combination of S and T is another transformation, but this transformation is not a rotation, and it's not a translation, not a scale, not even an identity. It's a combination of two uh, translations. And this combination of, uh, of the two translation is defined as here, as shown here, this is the S transformation of T transformation of P or S transformation of a point transform already transformed by T. In fact, we will take the point P, transform this first by T, then by S. And T and S can be anything. Uh, T may be rotation, S may be translation, or T may be uh, scale and S may be rotation or actually the perspective as well. There are sa several uh, transformations we haven't discussed today. Uh, whatever, OK, that's a uh, definition. And by definition, uh, this combination can be calculated as uh, matrix of the transformation S times matrix of the transformation T times P. So to combine two transformations or do two transformation at the same time, you can take the matrices representing these two transformations and multiply this, uh, these uh, matrices. And as you perhaps hopefully you start to guess, uh, we can multiply a matrix by a vector, but we can also take two matrices and multiply them by themselves. And the result of multiplication of two matrices is another matrix. OK, and uh, I know I have another screen full of mathematics. And uh, I will even tell you that you don't really need to know how to multiply matrices. Everything that you really need to know is that there is a way to multiply matrices and uh, you can have a computer program that will do it uh, for you because that's the case. OK, OpenGL will do this uh, multiplication for you. Uh, actually, that's uh, uh, mostly the graphics card. Oh, there, there is a GNM library that we will be using intensively and there will be a lot of matrix multiplication there. 
and we can also write uh, shaders or programs for the graphics cards in which uh, multiplication of matrices is just a single thing, okay? It's like um, M1 times M2 and everything will be done. Behind the scene, that's that complex. And um, a multiplication of matrices is a bit similar to the multiplication of a matrix by a vector. So again, we take uh, row by row, okay? So we first uh, multiply this row, then multiply this row, then multiply this row by uh, the second matrix. But in case of vectors, it was like um, A multiplied by just X. Uh, here we will multiply A by consecutive um, columns, all right? So first of all, we will, uh, to create the first item in the new matrix, we will, we will multiply the first row by the first column, something like this, okay? first row by the first column. So AP, AP plus BS, BS plus CV, CV, okay? Definitely you must not memorize this uh, table formula here. Just uh, if, you, if you really want to multiplicate uh, matrices, remember the pattern, okay? That you go, uh, here is the row, here is the column, you go one, two, three, one, two, three, done, okay? Uh, also, because I, I, I know it can be uh, not so easy to spot, please note that uh, this result here, even if it is a very fat matrix, it's still three by three matrix, all right? Because all this is a single number, okay? And if you have a program, if you have a real data, two matrices, and you do this multiplication, you will just make these three multiplications, number multiplications, plus two additions, you get a number. So eventually you just end up with a, a matrix with nine numbers in it. Uh, but let's go with this uh, multiplication. So this is first row times first uh, uh, column. Now to calculate this, you take the first row, second column, and here first row, third column. And now we switch to the second row and first back to first column, uh, second row, second column, uh, second row, third column, and third row, first column, third row, second column, third row, third column. That's how we multiply uh, these uh, uh, two matrices. Uh, the point here is that uh, you can take a matrix, multiply it by another matrix, and what you get is again a matrix, okay? But this matrix somehow magically contains all the information that was uh, included in the uh, original matrices. And even uh, more interestingly, as I showed you before the break, if you, uh, let's say you have a character and this uh, character negotiates some space, all right? So he goes or she goes a little bit forward, then turns left, then go forward, goes forward, turns right, goes forward, um, climbs the stairs, so it goes upstairs a little bit, uh, turns again in a, a different uh, direction, goes back, okay? Each of these movements uh, is a transformation, okay? We had a translation transformation and we had a rotation, several rotations on the route. Um, and you know what? You can just multiply each new transformation by the previous multiplied transformations and uh, the current position and rotation of the character will all the time be represented by just a single matrix. And that's the power of matrices. You can take any object, what do whatever you want with this object, any number of translations, rotations, uh, scaling, also perspective projection, uh, mirror reflection, also possible, okay? Uh, there are some uh, less, less uh, frequently used transformations. They can all be put, it's a, like a universal magical box, but it's a, more like a Hermione's bag for those who know, uh, who, who read uh, Harry Potter. Uh, you can 
has a single matrix, put many, 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 many different transformations into a single matrix, and it's still just a matrix, and this matrix will give all those transformations in sequence. In sequence, okay. So, an example, a translation of a rotation, okay? I have a rocket here. What is the translation of a rotation? Uh, how do you think to make a translation of a rotation? I should first translate or rotate. Uh, please, uh, a quick quiz, uh, like 20 seconds quiz. Uh, please just type in in uh, the in the uh, chat translation or rotation. What goes first? Anyone? I will not criticize if you are wrong. Uh, rotation. Uh, okay. Uh, trans translation, rotation, rotation, translation. We have 50 50 votes. Translation is swinging now. Uh, how badly? Because it has to be rotation. Okay. Uh, so it's a translation of a rotation. To translate a rotation, you need to have this rotation, okay? So it's like a, a you know, a hen and an egg. To have a hen, you need an egg, but you to have an egg, you need a hen. No, it's not going that far. Um, and basically, the rotation is first, okay? Just like the egg. Uh, you may, you may, uh, you may disagree with this, but rotation must go first. Uh, because this is a translation of a rotation. If it was a rotation of a translation, uh, you would need to take the translation and rotate it. Here the recipe is take one rotation and translate it. Uh, so rotation then translation. Yes, exactly. So rotation then translation. So let's uh, let, let, let's try it. OK, this is uh, the rotation and this is the translation. We did the rotation and the translation uh, works. Uh, now, rotation of a translation. Um, uh, the first thing that I will show you, I will quickly go back to the previous to the previous uh, slide, and uh, please note that uh, here is the algebraic combination: translation of a rotation. That's that's the uh, matrix for translation of a rotation. We got it by one times cosine uh, plus zero plus t x cosine. Okay, basically it's a cosine. Uh, basically this is a sine, and then one times cosine. Sorry, it's here zero times cosine. Uh, no, I want to calculate this one, so it's this row, this column. Uh, zero times uh, one plus zero times zero plus tx plus one. I have a tx here. That's a very neatly looking uh, uh, matrix. Anyway, we have uh, just a rotation here: cosine, negative sine, sine, cosine, and tx, ty uh, neatly hidden here on the right. That's the translation of rotation. Uh, if we calculate the rotation of a translation. Please note that it is so much com more complicated. We still have here a neat uh, rotation, but this translation becomes quite funny because it's a Tx multiplied by cosine minus Ty multiplied by sine theta, okay? Because what we have uh, uh, here is a rotation of a translation. You first translate, then rotate. But if it is a rotation of a translation, this means that actually the translation vector also has to be rotated. And this is why this third column looks so complicated. With a uh, translation of a rotation, you first rotate it and then translation was just a uh, clean translation. Nothing, nothing particularly uh, strange in it. All right. On the left hand side, this is first rotation, then translation. And here we will try uh, the other way around. So first translation, okay, that's the translate, and then uh, rotation. It may look similar, uh, but if you look closely, uh, first of all, this this rotation uh, moved the, the rocket actually farther to the top and farther to the left than first rotation than translation, okay. 
why is that? Because we first made it like uh, I will switch to the uh, regular camera. OK, if I uh, first rotate then translate, it's uh, it is something like this. But if I uh, first translate, then rotation is still around this point. So rotation will be. Something like this, it's a different kind of uh, of uh, uh, transformation back to the shared screen. Basically, homogeneous transforms are not commutative order matters. A times B is not the same thing as B times A, very much unlike the numbers. So uh, that's a specific thing about uh, uh, multiplying transformations. This is a sad fact because this makes uh, organization on, of 3D scenes much trickier and much more difficult. OK, uh, because it really matters if you move an object into the scene and then rotate it. This object will um, end up in a different part of the room, OK? So you have to rotate it first and then uh, translate. But if you do this, be prepared that this translation vector will already be rotated, so you will end up in a different place than you thought. OK, quite quite a, a nasty thing, but something we have all to live with. This is this is the price we have to pay for homogeneous transforms, uh, which are a magical carpet of the graphics. All right. Another example. Uh, first scale on the left, first rotate on the right. So we made a, a low fat um, a rocket and just a ro rotated uh, rocket here. And then the scaled uh, rocket will be then rotated and the rotated will be scaled. This is the same scale operation and the same uh, rotation. And please note how much different results we have. First scale, then rotate the first rotate, then scale. So you have to be very careful about the sequence in which you apply your transformations. Uh, so consider translation T and rotation R. OK. Uh, T R com um, combination of uh, translation and rotation is represented by matrix T times matrix R, matrix of the translation matrix times rotation matrix, but what it really is a trans tra translation of a rotation of P, OK? Uh, so um, if you have a number of matrices that you apply, OK, you have to read them from the right to the left because the first operation that will be applied is the rotation and then there will be a translation rotation first translation second the other way around from the end to the beginning this is the translation of rotation so first rotate first apply this then apply this confusing just remember always apply transformation in opposite order there will be enough of practice time next week. We will start with a short practicing exercise today, but about this in about uh, 10 minutes from now. And next week you will organize your first scene and you will see how um, funny it is in practice. OK, I wanted to say tricky, but I prefer the word funny. OK, it's really funny. Practical transformations. Uh, what we have, what we want to achieve. So we have a rocket. We would like to like uh, rotate this rocket in place. But if we apply just a rotation, we would end up with uh, rotating this rocket around this point here. And uh, a 45 degrees rotation would also move this rocket somewhere here. OK, it's uh, uh, it, it's something like that. Uh, so to rotate uh, but around the given point, uh, you can have a special matrix that are formulas for the matrix of uh, uh, rotation around the given uh, point, but it's very impractical and difficult. In fact, it's much simpler if we combine three consecutive transformations. First of all, the first transformation is translation so that uh, the rocket is, the, is in the origin of the coordinate system. Now it's easy 
and nicely controllable to rotate this. So um, uh, we translated this here, rotate it, and we translate it back to the position. OK, so translate to zero, zero, rotate, apply inverse translation. This is how you can rotate things in place. We will uh, practice uh, these exercises many times in this module. Uh, so we will definitely go back to this uh, little trick. And uh, for now, I would like to use a few final minutes of this uh, lecture session to transformations in 3D. Transformations in 3D, as you guess, as uh, also as I already told you, require four dimensional matrices. But what it exactly uh, means, these four dimensional uh, matrices. Here they are. Identity. Identity will not move your object at all. You just need a 4D uh, matrix with ones along the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. A 3D identity. A 3D translation. Of course, with a 4D matrix, you have uh, a place to provide here three dimensional translation vector, which is absolutely logical because in the 3D, uh, 3D uh, space, sorry, it's uh, absolutely uh, natural that you will want to translate using 3D translation vectors. So that's the translation in 3D. Scale. No surprises here. S, X, S, Y, S, Z, OK, and one uh, for the scaling factor for the W. So we can uh, have a, a non-uniform scaling with different uh, values in all three directions or a uniform with a uniform. We would have uh, triple S's here. Easy peasy. Rotation. <coughs> oh, sorry, rotation is not so easy because unlike a 2D uh, space, and I'm uh, uh, switching back to the camera, so you should be seeing me. In uh, a 2D space uh, that I will represent by this uh, sheet of paper, and if we have an object on a 2D space, the only way to rotate it is like this. But, in a 3D space, I'm using my model plane once again. In 3D space, uh, we have several different rotations. So this is one type of rotation. This is another type of rotation. And this is one more type of rotation. Now, if you remember where there, where there are uh, coordinates, uh, uh, axis of axis of coordinates, if this is the x axis, okay, uh, this is the y axis, and this is the z axis, okay, then what kind of a rotation is this? Is it, uh, I, am I rotating this around x, y, or z? It's very important to, uh, to, to see the difference. Please uh, type in the, in the chat either x, y, or z, what you think. Z, X, it's definitely X. Uh, think about the axis of rotation. So uh, the pivot, look where I'm, uh, uh, when I, where I had to put my, my hands, okay? This is like this. It's like, uh, there is a axis here and this thing rotates on this axis here. And this axis is X. Uh, how about Z? Z goes like this towards you, all right? That's, that's the Z. So anything rotating around Z will be uh, doing something like this, okay? So that's, that's the Z. And uh, how about Y? Y is the vertical axis like this. So rotating around the, it's around, okay? Y and around Y, that's rotating like this. OK, and uh, uh, you might uh, have heard about something that is uh, uh, known as uh, yo pitch and uh, roll. OK, I'm not sure how well 
visible it is, but I, I, I try to write uh, your pitch role. Uh, OK, so uh, these uh, three names of uh, uh, rotations come from uh, planes, OK, come from aeronautics. Uh, this is pitch. OK, this is pitch and pitch is uh, basically in 3D graphics. Uh, the pitch is defined as rotation around uh, the X axis. Uh, this is uh, your. OK, and your in uh, 3D graphics is defined as rotation around Y axis. OK, and we also have this thing. This is the role. The role is rotation around the Z axis. OK, so uh, sometimes mostly uh, older and uh, uh, well experienced uh, people in 3D graphics will use these uh, these um, um, uh, descriptors, yo, pitch, roll, and you need to understand what each of them is. Uh, but if you think about the plane, it will be quite obvious. Pitch, roll, yo, OK? Back to the slides, back to the presentation. We have a slightly different uh, matrix for each of the three types of uh, 3D uh, rotation. So this is uh, the pitch or rotation around X. And you can see that uh, this is uh, our 2D transformation, uh, 2D rotation uh, imposed onto a four dimensional matrix in which uh, apart from this uh, W row and W column, W is the fourth dimension. We also have a uh, neutral values, so one on the uh, diagonal and zeros everywhere else for the uh, row and column representing X. And this is if you imagine an object, I will uh, show you this thing once again. If you pitch a plane, so rotate around X, you can notice if you think about it, the X coordinate, for example, of this end of the wing, when I rotate it, the X coordinate doesn't change. OK, the Z coordinate of, for example, this point will change. If I wrote, if I pitch this, this uh, tail, tail wing will go forward and this is the closest to you to the observer. This is the furthest. So X changes, the Y also changes. X and Y is affected by this rotation, but not X. Similarly, if uh, we rotate around Y axis, so this is your, OK, the Y coordinates of each point in this type of rotation is preserved, doesn't change. And uh, with the roll, the Z rotation, again, the Z coordinate of uh, all the objects don't change. But X and Y will will change, will change everywhere apart from the axis of the, the pivot. OK, the pivot will not change, but uh, everything else will have a different X and Y values. Uh, so uh, this is uh, reflected in the form of these three main transformation matrices in 3D. So this is rotation around X. This is rotation around Y. So we have cosine sine, negative sine, cosine. But on the second row and the second uh, column, we have just a one in the diagonal zeros everywhere else because it doesn't change, that doesn't affect the Y coordinate. And this is the rotation around Z. So again, the Z row and the Z column is neutral and we have this uh, rotation matrix here. OK, so one, two, three, as many as three different rotations in 4D space. It would be even more complex. Fortunately, we can't see uh, directly the fourth dimension, so uh, we have to live with uh, complex rotations anyway. Please remember that this fundamental truth. Homogeneous transforms are not commutative order matters. OK, this matters so much that even if you combine two rotations, two different rotations like yo and pitch. It matters if you pitch a yo or yo a pitch. OK, you will end up with two different rotations. Very careful you have to be. Uh, I'm Yoda. Very careful you have to be. All right, the next topic and uh, I think it's the final topic because we are we have just four minutes left. Model and view transformation. 
This is a camera looking towards a teapot. Basically in OpenGL, because this is the OpenGL uh, topic, we'll have these model transformations and view transformations. Model, also known as world transformation, is used to place models within the world, typically combine, scale, rotate and translate. And the view transformation places the camera. But now if you think about it, if you want to move uh, the uh, teapot away from the camera, okay, what you can do, you can uh, just move the, this teapot away uh, along the z-axis. But if you keep the top uh, teapot uh, in in the same place, and instead move the camera the opposite opposite direction, you will get exactly the same uh, the same situation. So. Um, basically what I mean, and again go back to the uh, main camera view. If this is the camera, everyone uses now a phone as a camera, okay? And uh, this is my object, okay? And if I put the object away, or perhaps I keep the object at the same position but put the camera away, uh, the result will be exactly the same because what really matters is the relational position of the object uh, in relation to the to the camera. Uh, so it doesn't matter which of them I am I am moving. And um, uh, by the way, you have here a small sample of uh, OpenGL, not OpenGL, it's uh, GLM. We'll be talking about this next week. Uh, but a piece of uh, mathematical programming in a OpenGL based program. So you can translate a ma matrix by a vector. And uh, yeah, basically translate a, a matrix by a vector. Uh, you can achieve the same effect by either decreasing the X of the camera on, or increasing the X for the teapot. And this means that technically I lied to you. OK, I told you that we have these two different transforms, model transform and the view transform. And this is this is kind of truth, OK? But in OpenGL, because um, any transformation of the model can be mimicked by um, a corresponding movement of the camera and any movement of the camera can be mimicked by a uh, movement of the model, OpenGL has in fact just one transform that is called model view. Model view transform is combined model and uh, camera uh, transformation and it will of course be will consist of uh, uh, rotation, scale and translation. 